What's up, people? You know, it's your boy Dark Light, Rocket on Top, BC Up, MT. I want to start off this video by saying thank you to everybody that attended Generation Wars. Um, you guys really came out. I know the weather wasn't the best kind of weather, but you know, you guys really came out and showed a lot of love. Shout out to the battlers. You guys really did your thing from the rookies to the veterans. I'm pretty sure all the spectators, especially the YouTube viewers that are coming in some point in time when the videos go up, are gonna be entertained by what they see. Also, what can, how can I, what can I say? I'm trying to, there's a lot of words I have to say about the event. Like, I was really happy about it. You know, I was really grateful that everybody came out because I seen the weather and me, even me, myself, I woke up like, today is not my day. <laughs> but, you know, I really came out and had a lot of fun. Thanks to, you know, Rocket that supported, especially MT staff. You know, you guys know who you are. The staff, the um, World War Dance um, promo team. Shout outs to every team, you know, Lifetime, Two Real Boys, uh, um, Lunatic, Brotherhood, everybody that was in the building with us that day, you know, you guys really made the event successful. Next up, um, the event was successful, but there were slight issues where people felt like because they were, you know, familiar with me and Jordan, they felt like, oh, they should be good at the door automatically. Um, don't get me wrong, we're cool, everybody is friends, you know, but there's a, if it's admission fees, I can't just cut the fee because I know somebody, you know, because then I know majority of light feet, so I can't just cut an admission fee because everybody wants to get it free. And then there's the people who, they don't even talk to us at all, and then when the event day comes up, it's, what's up, bro? They walk in, what's up, bro, before they pay because they know that they don't have the money to pay. Honestly, I don't look at nobody any differently. If you, if you can't support because you don't have the funding, then I respect it. You know, we're all people. Everybody has priorities. School, work, family, everything. You don't have to put your money into the event if you have other things to take care of. But I'd rather you not show up without the money, basically. If it's three, you know, three dollars for females, five dollars for men. If you don't have that, I'd rather you show up, not show up, than not say, "Oh, bro, I only have three dollars and fifty cents. You can let me rock." You know, like, come on, son. Come on, son. Come on, son. <laughs> nah, but um, I hear boys. Nah. Also, the next rule that I wanted to tell you guys about is. For the next event we're having on June 14th, which is Illuminate, there's a new rule called the 233 rule. It is two minutes and 30 seconds to dance each round and a three tweak limit. Once you tweak three times, do not reach for that hat, that shoe, that lace, that sock, or whatever you was doing the trick with. Stop, because the music is getting cut. Once the music gets cut, I'm sorry. Once they start clapping it up and the music is cut, we gave you an extra 30 seconds now, so it's like, the whole clap it up thing, it's, don't get me wrong, I love to clap it up, let's get it, let's get it, ah, but it's like, come on, it's done, it's over, it's over. Um, in addition to that Illuminate, there's also um, a couple battles that you guys might be pretty interested in coming up, I must say. Outer Space versus Maywave is definitely going to be great, due to the fact that it started back at the Rookie Challenge competition for the females. And I, I would say that battle is going to bring about um, the best of the best because those are two of my favorite female dancers on Life Yet right now. Um, also, Mo Black versus Hype Star. Mo Black hasn't been in the ring for a long time, and Hype Star, very talented guy. I must got to give him credit where it's due. Lastly, dang, it's funny saying this. It's been a minute. I'm going to be in the ring, you know, Dark Light versus Mr. Jones. It's been a while. You know, I feel like somebody's grandfather. Got to dance. Should be interesting though. I can't say nothing. I'm not gonna talk bad, talk good about it. But you know, I, um, shout out to T for you know the opportunity because not a lot of legends they're not really as humble to give anybody a chance. You know, some people are just like, oh, I'm too good to battle so and so. So I really I give him a lot of respect for even accepting the challenge and things like that. Um, next up, I would say, oh, almost forgot. May 29th, City Kids session. If you are about uh, 18, 19 and younger, you can attend. Because City Kids, it's an after school program. So it's for the youth, basically. So if you're over a certain age, don't be like, I'm bringing my mom with me. Yeah, it's not like a session where you just sign in and come in. It's not It's not like, Teen Night is like a community center type of program. They both in like a big center, but City Kids is like more of a, you come inside, and that's it. You just sign. You sign a book as well, but you just good. Like if you know, if you know you over a certain age, talk to me. And if you, if you really, really want to get in that bad, talk to me, because I'm the only person that could get you in. Me or E Solo. That's it. Because we're the only people that have that leeway to get anybody that's over a certain age in. Um, 
This event is more so kind of for the new generation because I want you guys to get a chance to, you know, get your name up. It's gonna, Jordan's gonna be recording. You know how that goes. Um, I want you guys to get a chance to get your names up, you know, get promos for yourself. Old dancers, I want like two or three old dancers, not, well not two or three because that would be an uneven battle, but a couple old dancers to get in the ring as well that's old enough to get in and everything, but this is more, more so for the generally people who come to City Kids often or like the newer generation period. Um, lastly, I wanted to say that, I mean for the City Kids session, if you guys need to know, I mean, there's going to be more details coming up on the flyer when the flyer is sent out and everything as for the City Kids session. But look out for that. I really want everybody to come out to City Kids because if you did, if you came out around when I came out, City Kids really played a big role in Life Heat. A lot of people probably won't, need, won't be familiar with it, but yeah. Yeah, and it's their last session at that venue due to the fact that they're, moved, they're relocating to a place, I believe, on Wall Street. I can't even confirm myself whether they're going to have a space for dancers anymore, but this is the last time we even have to dance over there, so I really want everybody to come out and show love. Um, also, for that session, I would say that... Oh, one thing, key factor. This dates back to Generation Wars on Saturday. Two dancers of the night, Doc Lock and Boy Nice. You guys have automatic slots at Illuminate if you want to battle. So I want you guys to, I'll talk to you probably before this video goes up about it, about battling, but the dancer of the night, well not even, I wouldn't even say the night, cause City Kids is the early session, but the dancer of the day at that session is who's gonna be battling Boy Nice. So whoever goes off the most that day, you get Boy Nice. If you have another person that goes and Doc Lock would like to battle them, then that's your shot right there. But so if mainly we're looking for one, but if two people go off like how it did last time, then you never know what can happen. What are the odds? Um, next up, also I wanted to say that guys, guys been doing all right when it came to like the conduct and everything. But when it comes to these studios that we're using, everybody can't come. If, the, if you know the session starts in, starts at six o'clock, don't walk in the door at 7.45. It's like, would you do that at work? You know? And on top of that, it's like, it, even if it's the spectators, it's not as bad as the battle. Like, you guys are the battlers. People are coming to see you. You're getting in free. You don't even know what kind of awards that you're gonna receive for doing such. Because we have awards last time, but, you know, we had to get a time extension because people came in late, which took out of rewarding, if you get my hint. Hint, hint. Hint, hint. Bad hint. Hint, hint. <laughs> but, yeah, um, other than that, I mean, behavior-wise, you guys been, everybody's been pretty cool. No, no fighting thing, everybody, there's no reason you should go anywhere and fight regardless. That's like, leave that for like five-year-olds. Um, if you do happen to fight at an empty event by any chance, over, never coming back. Next up, if you, even the arguments, arguments that can be calmed down, there's levels to arguments. If you're a low argument that could be calmed out easily that's different than you causing a ruckus and everybody's looking at you and you're going crazy you're getting kicked out even if the argument gets calmed down you still gotta go because like there's other people that are coming to see us now to dance it's not only life here anymore you know so you gotta put on a, a better how can i say pr provide a better atmosphere that's the best way to say it i don't want to bring my little brother to come see life here and then everybody's oh sm this blah 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 your mother that you bum everybody about to fight people yoking up each other like Come on, leave the hood in the hood. This is to get out the hood, you know? And um, other than that, I mean, everybody been pretty good. Last time, the last event where there was almost a fight about to happen was probably Momentum. That was the only, that was the last and the first event that, from MT that that happened at. And um, I wanted to say that, I mean, you guys pretty much who was there know already what occurred. As soon as that happened, the event ended. There's no tolerance for any form of violence period um lastly when it comes to the, the mt promo team mt world war dance anybody that has any inquiries you want to be a part of the team we're looking for promoters only we're not looking for a team to sponsor uh somebody to be up in the higher level of staff promoters if you're willing to promote and promoting is this is not promoting sharing it on your wall on monday and then friday when you feel like doing it again this is promoting consistently throughout the week and getting the job done. Promoting is not only social media. 
You talk to somebody that's, in, that's involved in dancing or they like to hear about dancing, tell them about the team. Tell them about the events we host. Tell them about life here, you know, things like that. It's about getting it out there. There's no way that, a lot of people can't tell me I don't have time to promote, because I know a lot of people that they do. I took a shower today, like my status. One like, one respect. Come on, I took a shower, bro. You could have used that for something better, you know? Like, I, I don't want to put myself in a situation, but like, I find time to promote that in addition to being a party promoter, a CEO, having two jobs, going to school, and I still do that, you know, like, a lot of people have time. So it's like, come on, son. <laughs> but, um, I mean, overall, if you're really interested in being part of MT, as far as promotional team goes, go talk to me or Jordan. Facebook, a lot of people have my Facebook. Um, Aaron Francois. So, I mean, that's about it. Talk to Jordan too, Jordan Allen, the guy with the camera, the yamra, the chamra, the slamra. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's about it. So, rock it up, BC up, golf him up, and follow us on Instagram at Miles Thoughts. Also, be sure to use when you see a picture of anybody doing any type of lifey, any type of lifey related dancing, or you have a video of yourself, a picture of you dancing or you just want to put up a picture that you feel like is relevant to Life Feed or anything like that, be sure to use the hashtag MTWWD. Mindless Thoughts World War Dance, you get it? You get me? I hear voices in my head, they talk to me, they understand, they talk to me. Now I'm done.